Hello everyone, this is the LEGO Harry Potter buildable Hedwig, or Hedvig, depending upon where you live. And it does this. What do you think of that? It's kind of elegant, huh? And ultimately, this is what the set is all about. This very nice little action feature that's built in. You just have a hand crank. You can crank it from either side, goes through some gearing, makes stuff happen. You can potentially set this up with a motor if you want. It would require a little bit of customization, and of course you have to supply your own motor and everything. Probably some additional gears. It might not be particularly elegant unless you add a bunch of pieces to hide the electronic stuff. But, you know... That's it. This this is this is the set. It's a fully built up thing. You can turn the head, rotate it <laughs> quite a bit. You know, owls actually have the ability to, to move their heads quite a bit. Uh, there's just a little bit of binding that occurs if you try to go too far. But uh, that's a printed piece right there for the eye, used for either side. Got stickers used for the letter. This is a sticker here as well. Got the little base, has the Gryffindor colors on it. And, uh, well, you can slightly adjust the feathers, maybe angle these up just a little bit. You can also uh, rotate some of these in and out just slightly, but not too much. So maybe feathering the wing tips a bit might make it a little bit better looking to you. Uh, you can also change the angles of the tail feathers, so these can be spread apart. More like so, or you can just bring them together. I'll show you the minifigure as well, but I mean, I don't want to embellish this too much or go into too much detail about it because there's not too much detail to cover. It's really just about that action right there. You know, it's a nice novelty. I personally feel like the head is a little bit funky looking. It's, you know, built on a, a right angle. Would have been nice to get a little bit more roundness out of it, although the eye sockets of owls do tend to be somewhat flat, but maybe not that squared off. But then again, it is just Lego and it's not too large of a scale, but uh, yeah, you kind of have to, to build it to truly appreciate the mechanism in there, but it's pretty simple. There's a crank on either side and everything else just works from the geometry of it. <laughs> and there you go, that's it. And because a lot of LEGO fans like minifig stuff, this set does include a minifig and a stand for it to go on, as well as the new for 2020 Wings Spread version of a minifig owl, or Hedwig in particular here. And it's just printed on the front. And we'll take a closer look at that minifigure itself as well. But I just wanted to show you how all of this is presented in this set. This is a cold weather robes version of young Harry Potter from the first movie. And there's a little scene where he's in a courtyard and it's all snowy around and Hedwig goes and flies off and it's very elegant and such. And I think they captured that moment pretty decently well here. The gloves or mittens are rather contrasty as they are in, in the movie. I don't know, they were just trying to add a little extra, you know, a little extra pop, I guess, to the scene. These are done in dark azure, not a particularly common color. And underneath there is an alternate face for that head. And that's it for the set. Here are the very few spare pieces and the spent sticker sheet, just four stickers in total. The set retails for $40 US for over 600 pieces, which gives it a fantastic price to part ratio. I mean, just out of this world for these days. But when I look at what's in front of me here, I think the price to volume of stuff ratio is just fine. I wouldn't want it to be any more expensive than it is, but it doesn't feel like a steal, like the, you know, the price to part ratio kind of suggests. Uh, there are a fair number of decent, you know, like medium sized pieces here, but I guess obviously there are enough tiny ones <laughs> that the overall bulk of the thing is, is not all that significant. But $40 for, you know, a novelty, a collector item, I think is I think is respectable and certainly the the mechanism that's built into the thing is really nice. You really don't get your full value from this set I think until you start to turn that crank and you actually see it move. So if you just have it on display, 
Uh, I feel like definitely, well, yeah, there's, there's no question that for $40, if you were just looking for a nice displayable static model, uh, you should be able to get more than this. But include that right there, that's something special. So yeah, if you do get this, just make sure that you're going to be either picking it up and doing this and just enjoying looking at that yourself, or you're going to be showing it off frequently. I think that you'll be able to share some, some nice joy and, and pleasant surprise with other folks if, you know, if you're able to, to show that. The, uh, the, the inclusion of the figure, I think, is again, fine. Um, it's, it's an appropriate version, I think, of Harry to include. Uh, also having the miniature version of Hedwig, I think it's just a nice little bonus. What could have made this nicer is some ability to take it off its stand, you know, to, to pick this up in your hand and just kind of fly it around. As it's designed, it's really not designed to come off the stand. You can ultimately unbuild some of this stuff down here, but then it doesn't have a proper handle uh, or even a proper handle option. Certainly you can, you can customize it, but that's just one thing that I think would have made this significantly better. Uh, if if they could have included that without bumping up the price quite a bit. Because as it is, you know, I, I really would like to swish this around, you know, but uh, even just holding it right now from the side, it gets in the way. Let's see, if I remove one of these cranks, yeah, it's still kind of in kind of in the way. So I it, it can it can work, but I'm just kind of pinching at the 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 core support with three fingers there. Yeah, this would be nice to have an actual handle proper thing for flying around. But anyway, as it is, as a desk model, it just has, has an additional nice thing. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm happy with this. Definitely happy with the value. Wouldn't want it to be any more expensive though. If you want to see how it was put together, you can check out either of my build videos, the real-time version or the speed build, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.